Hello YouTubers, this is Adam Guy here from A Guy Studios and welcome to this video. Uh, in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to print business cards through Photoshop. Um, now this is quite simple to do. Um, I won't actually be showing you how to create the business cards because obviously that's something uh, for a later video basically. But what I'm going to be doing is once you've showing you, once you've got your finished product, how to actually get that so it's staggered up on a bit of paper um, normally eight you normally get about eight cards to an A4 uh, and what I shall do is show you how you get that copied over obviously up to the point of printing them so without further ado let's dive in and show you how to print business cards using Photoshop right so the first thing we're going to do is obviously go ahead and load up Photoshop CC 2018 I think they just released an update actually I believe for this so yes Right, so now that Photoshop has opened, we will come over to File and Open. And what we're going to do is open up the business card that I'm going to use, which is this thing here. Uh, this is a business card that I've been that I made, sorry, for my friend. Uh, he owns his own obviously painting decorating firm. Um, so if any of you guys live in Surrey, London, this sort of area. Uh, pause the screen, take the details down, and if you need any paint and, paint and decorating work done, give this guy a call. Uh, truly recommend him. I've actually done work with him myself, and they are spot on. But enough about trying to promote his business. Now down to the actual job at hand. Right, so the way that I like to do this, and I find it the simplest way to print in business cards. Um, for some reason, I, I just find this way to be better. Um, what I tend to do, uh, is I will go to File, New, and then from there we will select a A4 bit of paper. Make sure we we'll leave it at RGB. Uh, I know you can set it to CMYK, but for some reason when I print with CMYK, I tend to get like an orangey around. It seems to do something to the white. I don't know if it's a problem with my printer or not, but I'm just going to leave it on RGB because I know that works. Turn it up to 16 bit color to make it a bit better. Uh, leave the resolution to 300 and we're going to rename it to print paper There we are and hit create so now what that's done is created us a new Workspace shall we say uh, it's obviously an A4 size and It's blank, which is great exactly what we want it to be So the first thing we're going to go and do is come over to our file here and go file export and export as what we're actually going to be doing now is saving this business card as you can see it's a workable file we have all the layers here which allow us to edit the business card but what we want to do is save it as an image so it's uh, it so it's, so it's at the right size but it's just an image which means it's not editable or it is but not as editable as it as it was when it was created so we go export export as let it process and we're going to save it as a JPG at 100%. You can do PNG as well, but I prefer JPG. I don't know why, it just works better. And basically, yeah, I believe that is everything there. Yep. And we're going to go export all. And we're going to save it as TUT1 because I've already got a TUT there. And hit save. What that's done now is Photoshop has now saved our business card or our project as an image, which will make it a lot easier to work with. So once we've done that and it's all saved, we then come back up to file, obviously staying in Photoshop, going open again, and we're going to find what we've just saved. So TUT1, which is just here. I'm going to click on it and go OK, open. What that's done is obviously opened it up on a new workspace for us. But as you can see now, it's just one layer and it's just an image. That's all it is. So what we're going to do is come over to our background layer here, right click, duplicate layer, and under where it says destination and document, we're going to select print paper. What that's going to do is basically copy this from here onto the print paper. So we click OK. And we're going to change this up here to card like that. Hit OK. 
Now, once we've hit OK, if we now come up to our print paper workspace, we can now see we have our card and the card layer there. So if we were to just hit print now, it would just print one in right in the middle of the page, basically how it's set, which we don't want to do. But as the card is its own layer, we can move it. So what we're going to do is make sure it's centered, move it up. One thing I will say, guys, never, ever, ever put your business cards in the corner like this and try and stack them this way. The reason for that is you will always, always, not, yeah, you will, you'll always get a tiny bit of the image cut off through printing. And by doing this and putting them in the corner, I guarantee you that bits of your business cards around the edges will be missing stuff or they won't be the right size or they just won't look right. So the best thing I'd recommend, always have it in the middle, but just leave a bit of bleed. Just leave, I don't know, 10 mil, maybe five mil bleed. Just basically what that will do is that will account for is that if there is an image crop or a print crop, it's not going to affect the cards. So once we've got the first one in place and we're happy we've left enough room along the top and on the sides, all we're going to do is simply hover our mouse over the business card, press and hold Alt, left click and drag till it snaps next to it and let go. As simple as that. So what we've basically done is duplicated one card next to it. Basically that simple. Now this is where it becomes really easy. Okay, what, we come, what we're going to do is come down to our layers down here and we're now going to, whilst our card copy, which is this one, is selected, we now press and hold control and select the first card as well. So basically what that has done is selected both layers or both cards. So when we come to duplicating, it will now duplicate in twos. Instead of duplicating one card at a time, we're now going to duplicate them in twos. So one thing I will say before we start duplicating as well, obviously pay attention to the design on your card because mine, I've got this nice little black border around it. So I know when it comes to cutting, I know where to cut. And also it gives me the nice line in the middle because as you can see here, the black has blended. So in theory, you wouldn't really know where to cut. So with this line, or making sure that your business cards have some sort of border, makes it so much easier to crop in. If not, you would have to potentially, or let me select one, you'd have to have it sort of like that, basically, which means obviously you're not gonna necessarily get as many cards on, and when it comes to actually cutting, you are going to be cutting each card individually. And believe me, that is a very, very painstaking process where instead of having it like this, you can just cut straight down the middle in one slice and you've cut one side of all business cards or in one go, basically. So making sure that both layers are selected, as we have here, all we're gonna do is the exact same process. Now there is two ways to do this. You can either press and hold Alt, click and drag, which just allows you to move it, and then you just make sure it's snapped in, or you can press and hold and then hold Shift which will basically only allow you to move it up and down, in one up and down, and that is it. But for us, that's not really a necessity. It doesn't really matter. So you can either press and hold out, or if you want to keep it in the same axis, you hold shift as well. Okay, but where this Photoshop has this really great snap tool, it, it doesn't matter. You know, it really doesn't matter. You can just press alt and move them around, and it will snap on where you want it anyway. So... Now that we've duplicated these two and moved them down, you can see that our layers has actually kept these two selected. So all we need to do, press and hold Alt now, we don't even need to remove our finger off of Alt, we can just click down, make sure they snap into place, click down, snap into place, click down, snap into place. That easy, it is that simple, guys. So now that we've done that, we now have, in theory, one, two, three, four, five, ten business cards on one piece of A4 paper. Which, when it comes to printing, it will print like that. And all you would need is your, your guillotine or, or whatever you would use to separate them. It's that simple. So, now that we've got all of our business cards on the paper, what we can go ahead and do is, we don't have to close any of these down, but I'm going to do it just to keep my workspace 
nice and tidy and get these closed so we can see what we're doing. Right, so now that we've got this, what we're then going to go ahead and do is go file, print. That simple. Now that we're on the print page or our print settings, uh, this bit is a lot down to you. Um, but obviously copies for this demonstration, I'm just going to print one copy. Okay. Uh, make sure the layout is obviously set to portrait, not landscape. Um, if you want to play around with your print settings, such as quality and, you know, that sort of thing, obviously you'd go into your print settings here. Uh, for some reason, Photoshop and my computer shows my printer as a Canon IP8700. It is actually the 8750, but it's obviously the driver that comes with the printer is a slightly older one, so it registers as an older model. Don't ask me why. You would think they would give you a new driver, but that's what it registers at, but never mind. So for this, for this demonstration, because that's all it is, I'm just going to have standard print, plain paper, print quality, I'm going to put to standard because at the end of the day I don't want to burn through ink to show you this. Okay, if you're going to be printing double sided, obviously with standard you have the option of duplex printing. Mine's only manual with this series. Some printers can do duplex printing on their own automatic, but mine's not mine's manual so I, I believe I need to still flip it. But either way it can do it. Borderless printing is not really an issue because we're not printing all the way up to the page. We don't want grayscale printing because that'll be black and white. And if we do it in draft, we're going to lose even more quality. So we won't we won't worry about that. We won't worry about draft. So we've made sure our print paper size is correct, which is A4, which it is. Uh, it's in portrait. Paper source is rear tray, of course. Copies. Uh, I'm only doing the one. Okay. So now we've got our print setting set up. We now come down to our color management. Now, like I say, this is completely down to you. If you want to be lazy, you just go print man uh, printer manage colors, which that means the printer will then determine what's the best color profile. I prefer to let Photoshop do it and do it manually. And I like to run from this series of printer. GL2 seems to give quite a nice finish or sometimes PT3 is quite nice as well. But I'm gonna just stick with GL2 for the minute. Normal printing, obviously we don't want hard proofing. Uh, rendering Intel, we're going to keep it as absolute. You can obviously change that around. Like I say guys, this is all user preference. So whatever you want, you know, this is all user preference. So we'll then come down here. We don't need to worry about description. Uh, position, obviously center. We want it to stay in the center of the page. Fit to scale, we don't need to worry about because it's already at 100% and it fits lovely inside our bit of paper. Print air, print selected area, tick. Basically, we just want to make sure that it knows where it's printing and what it's going to print. Um, I leave mine in millimeters, doesn't necessarily matter. We're not going to worry about bleed or background or border or anything like that. We're not going to worry about that at all. So now that we've got all of that set up, all we would basically do is hit print. Like so that'll load it up in our Canon previewer. As we can see, looks nice. Basically, that's what it's going to print. It's using plain paper and it's a rear tray load. And pretty much, guys, it is as simple as going boom. So we're going to let that pump through now. And once that's finished, guys, I will show you what the finished product looks like. So it shouldn't take long to print at all, as it's only on the low print setting. You can probably hear my printer firing up in the background. Um, obviously, I am using the Canon IP8750 photo printer, which prints up to A3+. It's amazing. It's an absolutely wonderful printer. It really, really is. Um, it's the best investment I've ever bought. And obviously it allows me to make a little bit of money on the side printing images for friends and business cards, etc. So that's just finishing off printing. Now, one thing I will say, I have obviously printed this on um, normal, just plain A4 paper because I didn't want to waste any materials for this. Uh, if you're going to be printing business cards, I'd recommend going for a heavy paper or card preferably 300 G if it's GMS is or basically 300 weight would be the ideal to go for. So now they're printed, what I'm gonna do is just load up the camera on my phone and show you guys 
um, what the business cards look like once they're printed. So I hope you enjoy the video. I hope it helps. And I hope that it's, um, it's shown you a new way of doing this. Maybe some of you guys may have done this another way and realized all oh, this way is quite easy. Or if some of you were thinking on getting into printing and you're just trying to learn the basics of printing business cards, this is a really good way to do it. So I hope you found the video helpful, guys. If I've missed anything or I've gone too fast or I've missed un unexplained anything, please obviously pop it in the comments below so I know. And please comment, like, and subscribe as always. And I'm glad you, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll see you from you soon. So the next images you're going to see are going to be pictures taken of the actual cards. So many thanks, guys. Take care. Goodbye.